Hey, what's up everybody? Jay Shockblast here, and uh, I wanted to do a little follow-up addendum video, if you will, uh, about this Razer Sabertooth uh, remote controller. Uh, I got it today, and I apologize if the camera is completely zoomed in on it, but uh, I, I cannot recommend enough that you never buy one of these Canon camcorder things. Uh, the angle and zoom on it is ridiculous like you have to be so far away in order to get what you want in the the screen and uh, it just never works out like I feel like as far away as the camera is right now I should have the whole remote control on the screen so that's that's a complaint for another day um, for now I, I did want to add to my original video which was pretty glowing um, in the way that I, I spoke about the control. And it, it's a good control, don't get me wrong. Um, it just doesn't do what I wanted it to do. And part of it might be ignorance on my end. Um, and I, I freely admit that. But at the same time, it, it just seems like it would be common sense to have the ability to do what I want to do, and I can't. Uh, so first things first, um, I gave some bad information in the first video. In the first video I mentioned uh, these little rubber pieces uh, as being used to cover up uh, these buttons right here if you wanted to remove those buttons and they're not uh, they actually are meant to go on the bottom uh, the M4, 5, M3, 4, 5, and 6 the problem is, um, and, and they're, they're utterly useless, um, they don't go into place. So I've been fiddling around with this for like 10 minutes at this point. And I mean, I, I've, I've put them in the way that they're supposed to. And that, I, I, you can see how they kind of hang. I'm pushing in, I'm giving it pressure, and they just kind of hang there. So you know they, they it looks tacky it feels weird um, it may or may not stay in place um, it feels like it might it might stay in place the way that I'm pushing it but I mean the the top and the bottom just kind of are really loose and it's not flush with the controller which you would kind of expect it to be. This is actually the longest I've been able to get it to stay in. Uh, of course, it's happening, you know, because I'm recording. Um, you know, if I put the right one in, trying to match up the little dot where the screw goes, um, you know, it, it's just, it, it feels weird and I just, I feel like it should be completely flush and in place, so I don't know if I just got a bad, bad set of rubber pieces. It's not really the end of the world. Um, I guess my fear is that if I have them in there in place while I'm, I'm using them, uh, that they're just going to fall out and I'm going to lose them. So I'm not even going to bother using them. I'm just, it's not really that big of a deal. It's not uncomfortable. Uh at all to, to have them not there. Um, one of the things I didn't show earlier was how you program the remote. Um, so the pieces that, that are being covered up are these two extra triggers. Um, I, I really don't have a use for them because I don't really understand why, what else I would have to remap. Um, this did come with a screwdriver to take them out, which is great. Uh, some people might find use for it. I just, I don't have any. So I took them out. Um, they weren't really getting in the way, but it's more comfortable not having them there for me. Um, to program the remote, you're going to use these two buttons down here. Uh, you press the button once for profile one, and then twice to program. Uh, now what I wanted to do is I wanted to set this button here, which I can do by pressing and holding it. Um, and then it says set to 
right analog stick. So I did that. Now I, I've got so it's already set to the right analog stick. So that's why it's not allowing me to do it. Right now it's adjusting the sensitivity, which when you press the program, you can turn the sensitivity up and down, up and down. I have it to minus one right now. It comes obviously set to, to zero. I don't trying to get it angled right so you can see it. Um, and then you just press this button. All right, there you go. And then you press the button, it goes away. So I know that was really, really bad, but let's try that again. So, um, it, say I wanted to set this one. Uh, first, you press this button to pull up the profile. Then you press this button twice to put it in programming mode. Then I would hold down this button, which it says is disabled. And you know, I'll press. You know, it did it earlier. Disabled. Alright, there we go. So you keep holding it, then you press the button you want to set it to, and then you press this button to get out of programming mode. So now, if I'm playing Battlefield 3, I can press either trigger or either one of these extra triggers to go prone. So basically pushing in this stick when I'm playing Battlefield 3, I'll be able to go prone. So here's the part that's that's kind of frustrating me. And again, this is probably my ignorance. I should have probably read up on it more, but I just assumed I'd be able to, on top of programming those buttons, one or the other, to do what I wanted it to do, I would be able to prevent this button, like pushing the analog stick in, from causing me to go prone. But both still work. So my whole hope was, and again, this is because I'm a bad player, you know, this and that, I get that. Um, I When I overreact, I sometimes accidentally push in the right analog stick. So I wanted to disable that so that, you know, I didn't, I didn't do that. You know, obviously I'm trying to prevent myself from accidentally putting myself in prone which I do way more than I want to because I'm somebody happens to sneak you know run up on me and at that point it's really a matter of you know whether or not I can you know outgun them and you can't really outgun a guy at close range if you're accidentally putting yourself in prone so I get myself killed a lot it's not the end of the world um, there's definitely a learning curve with this remote controller um, it, it feels different than the Xbox controller. Uh, the buttons are a little sensitive. Um, I can make adjustments to the sensitivity, I believe, on the other buttons, but I really think it's just going to be a matter of getting used to it. I'm not unhappy with it. I, I just, it seems like an oversight to me that you can program those extra triggers, but I can't disable, you know, pushing in the stick, you know, like it just seems like if I can enable and disable those six extra buttons, why can't I like, what does it matter to anybody if I wanted to disable the Y button? Um, I don't know. It, it's, it seems like some, a feature that should be there and it's not, um, again, maybe not the end of the world. I'm going to play with this some more. Um, I, I, played a little bit of Battlefield 3 and I was on a bad team so part of the issue is definitely uh, the bad team aspect um, so I don't really know how you know how much better or worse I was because of the controller um, you know you would think that you would have some benefits based on you know the way the controller works but We'll see. Uh, it's definitely a nice controller, though. I didn't, I don't want. I I know the other video might be really positive. I don't want this one to be overly negative. Uh, those are just a couple things that popped up for me. Um, it is comfortable, and the whole rubber pieces on the back. 
I, I don't. It it's comfortable enough. I mean, I just would rather not have them there if they're not going to be flush uh, with with the bottom of the controller. Um, it, it's comfortable enough. Uh, what am I caught on here? All right, sorry, I'm caught on the con the camera. Um, it's comfortable enough that I'm not too worried about it uh, when I'm using the controller. I don't really notice those those gaps, so I'd rather just leave them out. I don't want to lose them. Uh, we'll see what happens from here. Uh, it's a decent. It's a good controller. I, I like it. So I just wish that I could disable that that analog stick. That's just too bad that you can't do that. So uh, if anybody finds out a way to do it, if I'm just full of shit here, uh, and you could leave me a comment and let me know, uh, that's great. Otherwise, uh, you know, no big deal. Uh, hopefully this was informative for you. Um, I still have only had it for a couple hours. So I'm going to play with it some more, see what happens, and uh, we'll go from there. Uh, any questions I can possibly answer, if you have any, um, I'll do my best to. And appreciate everybody watching. Like I said, hope it's helpful.